Hey everyone! Last time we looked into upgrading my Raspberry Pi from a Model B Plus to a new Raspberry Pi 2, hoping to take advantage of the Pi 2's quad core to decrease the rendering time of time lapses for my 3D printer. Thankfully, subscribers Hippo and RJ Make pointed out that my Pi 2 was still only using one core for rendering. I was using the Linux command top, which shows the CPU and memory usage for each process. However, the CPU percentages shown for each process are for a single thread, so 100% in a column means one core is being used entirely. 200% would be two cores, 400% four cores, etc. The CPU percent line near the top of the screen shows the total CPU percent, which is why in my original video, AV Converter was showing 100% in the column, but only 25% of my CPU was being used. It was only using one thread. Looking into it, there is an octoprint setting for the number of threads to use while rendering, and is defaulted to 1 for use in the original Raspberry Pi. So I changed mine to 4, and I wanted to run an experiment to see the differences between the Model B Plus, the Pi 2 using a single core, and the Pi 2 using all four of its cores. So, to set it up, I did a print of some trilobite hair clips I found on Thingiverse. The print took 1 hour, 44 minutes, and 51 seconds to complete and with a time-lapse setting of one picture every three seconds, I ended up with 2,097 pictures. I then put a copy of those pictures onto each of the pies, and used the command that Octoprint uses internally to start the rendering process. So I performed three different tests. One with the original Raspberry Pi, Model B+, one with the Pi 2 using just a single thread, and then a final one with a Pi 2 using four threads, all rendering at a bitrate of 5000K. So, on to the result. As you can see, the Model B Plus was using 97% of its processor to render, as expected. The single-threaded process on the Pi 2 was also using 100% of a single core. And when we jumped to four cores, I was hoping to see it using 400%, but unfortunately it only bumped it up to 136%, meaning that most of the power of the Pi 2 was not being fully utilized in the rendering process. So, let's see how long it took to render these 2,097 pictures into a 720p video. The original Raspberry Pi Model B+, with its single 700MHz processor, finished in 29 minutes and 21 seconds. Next up was the Pi 2 with a single thread running on its 900MHz processor, clocking in at 18 minutes and 13 seconds. And with all four cores running on the Pi 2, it finished in only 13 minutes and 32 seconds, more than twice as fast as the original Raspberry Pi. Seeing these results, I was curious as to why I was only getting 136% usage when I was expecting all four cores to be used. So I was trying to think of what possible bottlenecks there could be. So I looked at the SD card that the Pi was running, and it was only a class 4 card, with a max speed of 10 megabytes per second. So I figured, since rendering requires reading and writing to the card, maybe it was the speed of the card that was limiting it. So I grabbed a class 10 card that I had lying around, that had a max read and write speed of 45 megabytes per second. And... It finished in 13 minutes and 34 seconds, pretty much exactly the same time as the class 4 card. So for rendering 720p video on the Raspberry Pi, there was no difference between a class 4 and a class 10 SD card. So, in conclusion, the single threaded performance of the Raspberry Pi 2 is 1.61 times greater than the original Raspberry Pi Model B+. And while AV Converter wasn't able to utilize all four cores, it was effectively using 1.3 of its cores, allowing it to render 2.16 times faster than the original Pi. Two times! I think this shows that the Raspberry Pi 2 is definitely a worthwhile upgrade for anyone looking to increase performance. So, thank you all for watching. If you have any ideas how I could get AV Converter to use more of the total cores, please leave them in the comments below. I wouldn't have made this video if it wasn't for the tips from my awesome viewers. So if you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up and to subscribe for some more awesome projects coming your way.
Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.